What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Modern Cube. Today is also uh, Zendikar Rising Early Access. Um, a couple months back, like two months ago, I got an email from the creator program, the Stream Elements creator program, and it's like, hey, because of your inactivity, we're going to remove you from the creator program. Um, there's all these, like, challenges, like these arena challenges and stuff that are on the page that you, like, I guess you have to complete some of them every so often to, like, uh, stay in the program. <laughs> Um, oh, that's weird. and I didn't, and a bunch of people apparently got the same email and they were all kind of like, well, this is stupid. Like you're trying to like encourage us to like play your set and advertise for you and like, you know, promote the set, but like, you're going to force us to like stream a specific kind of way before or else yeah, you're going to, really like, it was really weird. And like, I just didn't reapply to the creator program because like literally for me, the only benefit is like playing with the new set every three months, one day early. And I'm like, I just don't care about that. Like, yeah. if I'm going to have to, like, keep up with it and, like, reapply every two months and, like, worry about, like, completing these challenges, like, it's just not worth it. Like, if they want to, like, have a creator program where I can just sit there and, like, I'll I'll join I'll join your stuff and promote the game because that's what I do anyway on a daily basis. But, like... Gone on, I think. <sighs> yeah. That guy's good, too, but he needs other pieces. Let me take one. So anyway, yeah, like, I was just like, eh, I don't care. Like, I'll play with the set tomorrow, and I'm like, it's not like, it's just not worth it to keep track of. Like, I'm not going to be like, did I do my challenges? Did I, like, it's like, it's like, and the challenges are like, inst like the uh, early levels of, like, WoW stuff, where it's like, you know, gift five arena codes in chat or something. It's not, I don't think it's like that, but it's like, play five game. It's some it's silly stuff, where I'm just like, I do this anyway, you know, like, so, you know, I don't want to go to the site and, like, I'll be like, let me sign up for these three challenges. And I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, I think it's, like, either Jace or Rift. I'm not sure. I do like a Rift. This is Modern Cube, so I don't know, like, we can't get, like... Can you get Ulamogs? Like, the funny thing is Ulamog and Kozlik are legal in Modern, but, like, they're not Modern played. So, like, could you get them? I don't know what's in the cube. I guess I could just look. I'm just going to take the blue card, because... Oh, I like this Luris. I like that they put the 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 borderless cards in here. Ooh, Nyx Blue Ancient. That's the auto select. They're like, give them the Nyx Blue Ancient. Yeah, I would stick with blue for now. What order are these in? Yeah, rare, mythic, rare, mythic, rare, 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 uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Yeah, I'll just take Cloudwing. <coughs> Cloudwing. <laughs> Rift, Rift Skate Cloudwing. Well, you jumbled <coughs> it up, but we knew what you were talking about. Well, it's Michael B's birthday. Happy birthday, Michael. <laughs> Are you playing in the PAX qualifiers? Uh, I was actually going to do some... Interestingly, Alan Alan Hawkman, the owner of Pastimes, uh, and who's running like PAX this year, PAX Online, uh, reached out to me and was like, hey, would you like to play in some events? Like, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll sponsor you for the events and stuff, and you can just promote it on Twitch and things. And I was like, yeah, I'd actually love to do that. That sounds super fun. I haven't gotten back to him yet, so I have to do it, like, today if I want to, I think. Just because it's... Like, the event started on Saturday, I believe? The 12th. So, Sunday. I think Sunday. Or Monday? I don't know, dude. Elder or Stoneforge? <clears throat> well, I think green-blue is a really solid color combo, right? Do you really, Michael? Yeah. Do you really? Is that what your heart tells you? Listen to you. I feel your like green-blue is better than blue-white. Nothing white. else you can do. Listen to your heart. Michael B is poo poo. I'll take Gargroth. I like Gargroth more than I like the other one. Ooh, I kind of like Thassa Deep Dwelling. I'm loving these arts, man. I am such a huge fan of like alternate cool arts. That's my that's my jam, dude. That's yes. my bread and butter. Uh, I'd probably just take Falls here. What? We don't have any, like I guess we have Cloud Skate. We literally yeah. have Cloud Skate. It refreshes the oh, one Dark yeah, Mage, and like we're on fifth pick. So if if our first if you're like we don't really have many things that go with it in our first four <laughs> cards, when two of them do go with it, so I don't know, man. Maybe you're wrong. Did you ever think about that? Did you ever think that? Shut up. Yeah. What do you mean? Got him. Who? I don't, I don't know. Why don't you go back to your fucking trash can, Michael? Look at this. I took the, the Creeping Tar Pit. You know why, Michael? No. Think about it. Look at these arts, man. Loving it. Loving life. <clears throat> hey, 
Hey man, you think if I go to that car shop, like when I get there, if I show them a little belly, they'll give me a discount on the 1100? If you show them a little belly? Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Show them that belly. <laughs> Pop that bitch out. Look, I got sword. Love struck beast. Look at these arts, dude. I'm so loving it. This is such a visual treat for my, my eye holes, man. I don't know if it's queen or sword. That's actually pretty close. I mean, queen of Thassa. Oh, yeah. Just blanket a bunch, bro. Yeah, all right. Well, it's like, almost every time you cast a thing, it's like, well, can't beat that card. <laughs> it's true. Horn of Queen's hard to beat. Like, even if they don't die to it, they just, like, their board is just, just, like, no good attacks ever. <coughs> Listen to you, huh? Oh, great Henji came back? Oh, that's nice. Henji, boy. You ever been to a Henjamin Benjamin concert? No, man, I've never been to Henjamin Benjamin. Pretty good. Are you sure it's not called Breaking Henjamin? <laughs> you go by many names. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems bad for marketing, man. I'm going to be honest with you. You wouldn't get it. Oh, Avenger of Zendikar? Oh, man. That's wild. Where's that tooth and nail? You eating them eye holes again? Better watch out for the eye hole, man. <laughs> hey, hey, these are my eye holes. Yeah, give me those eye holes. I'm the eye hole no, man. No one else can have the eye holes. Oh, they're only for they're me. only for me. I'm the eye hole man. It's either Hissing Quagmire and I can keep up this black or I can get Shadow Spear. I think I'm quagging. Ooh, Fiend Artisan. Okay. Listen, listen to your heart. Is the sound a little low? Man, my, my mic is up way high. I don't think so, dude. <laughs> I'm like hitting the yellow section, almost hitting the red. Did you try turning up the volume? Did you try listening to your heart? Nothing else you can do. It's <laughs> literally all you can do. Oh, what? What? Wow, that's a nice late Nissa. It's also good with Horn Queen. I'll put counters on it. I'll put a bird on it. Fine, I'll, I'll call it. What are you calling? Guys, should we drill a hole in Mike's brain that's this big? I gotta go make a quick phony call. Who are you calling? My dad. Oh, Scarab God Michael? That's a good one. Oh, look, they updated the way the cards look when you hover over them, too. I'll be right back. It's gonna be too long. If you take too long, Michael, I'll hunt you down. I'll hire a hitman on the deep web and kill you. <laughs> okay. Kerwit, check it out, my dude. Look at these alternate arts, bro. <clears throat> why do we have why do we have so many whole bits lying? Uh, I have two. I have this one, and this is gonna cut a grommet in my desk, a hole a hole in the desk for an electrical outlet, so I can have just electrical outlet like with a USB port on it. And this one, I have this one over here too. I, th I think it's acidic slime here. It's either a six time or Woodfall Primus. We don't have much ramp right now, but both of these are very good with the Thassa. Yeah, I think it is slime. Ooh, Joel Real. And this one, I was gonna say, is for uh, my mic arms. So the microphone arms I use now, they just have like clamps that are going. But for my new desk, I'm actually gonna put, this is the, um, the desk insert that it comes with. So I'm just gonna drill some holes and uh, pop it in the desk and screw it on so that it just goes right in the desk. So, a little more, uh, a little more professional looking, I think, so. I like Duplicant. Duplicant with Das is really good too. Kitchen Finks is fine. Why don't you draw your second card? Like how frequently, how, how consistently is our second card gonna be drawn? Not very, not very consistently. I think it's actually Kitchen Finks or Duplicant. It's probably Duplicant because the blue-green deck probably doesn't have a ton of ways to deal with stuff. Can you guys not? Good grief. <laughs> hey! Stop! 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 I'll spritz you. I will spritz- I, I said I'll spritz you! I said I'll spritz! <laughs> guys! He's on the phone! It's not a real person in the house! I think it's just Fallen Shinobi, obviously. I can't not take Fallen Shinobi, so... Suck on them eggs. 
Serum Visions? I didn't even recognize this. I didn't recognize this. I didn't recognize Sword of Fire and Ice. I'm going to have to get the Spritzer in a second. These guys are going to have to go down. <laughs> oh, man. Tana's just sent me a message. I'm, I'm, it's pretty funny. I'll just take Serum Visions, I guess. Actually, Sword is good. I love this sword art. Actually, I have a, I have a copy of that sword art right over here. I picked up the extended arts for for my cube. Look at that! It just looks so good, dude. These extended arts look so ridiculously good. I want to take the sword. I don't care about stupid serum visions. Sort of feast and famine too, with the new art again. I like Atris. Atris is also blinkable. We're getting a bunch of blinkable creatures here. Also, Atris having Menace is nice for Fallen Shinobi. Lutero Core is also pretty good. If that guy comes back, I won't mind. Because I'll just take... Uh, I don't want Damnation here. I should take Pull from Tomorrow, I guess. I really hope for some fixing and some ramp. I hope that Farseek comes back. <laughs> then listen to your heart. No, no, no. Well, I don't think Master Whips can great with Flicker because all your creatures die every time you. Well, I guess they. Can, I guess you could block with a bunch of them, get a bunch back. We don't have any Planeswalkers yet, do we? Anissa, Immortal Sun might be great here. Let's take Immortal Sun. Eh, none of these cards are exciting. Like this art, though. Like this art, though. Listen to your heart. I mean, World of Rogue is not great, but it's fine with Fallen Shinobi. Oh, Woodfall Primus comes back? Yeah, okay. Easy game, easy life. Farseek. 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 This deck looks sweet. I don't know if it's any good. They've definitely made a ton of changes to the modern cube, so. Oh, yeah, I love this Cyclonic Rift art, too. All of these arts are very good. They just make the cards pop, dude. It looks like I'm looking at a... It looks like I'm looking just at a full piece of art where they just slap some text on it, and it, I just love them. I can't even get over them. <laughs> nothing, nothing from that pack I really care about. I mean, we do have Hissing Quagmire and Creeping Tar Pit, so we're probably just golden already. Thassa's Oracle? Sure. Chandra and a Find Finality. I'll just take Find Finality. I'll actually... Master Waves came back. Weird. Alright, Fixing and Ramp is what we're looking for. I think we have enough solid solid cards. Remember when Michael, we had four picks, and Michael's like, we don't really have a lot of cards that go, go well with Thassa right now, and four picks deep. And then literally two of our cards went pretty well with Thassa. If only there was if only there was some way to have more of a chance. Jesus, I don't even recognize half these cards. I'm like, what is this? Luminous Brood Moth. What is this? Erebos. Tarmogoyf. Chromatic Land. I, I'm so glad they Oh, Garrick, Apex Predator. Good gravy, dude. These are wild. Oh, what up, Josh? Um. I'm tempted to just take Scalding Tarn in case we get Watery Grave or uh, Breeding Pool. But without having those, I think it's actually Chromatic Lantern. Yeah, let's take Chromatic Lantern. That seems great. Oh, Liliana the Last Hope. I really don't like this these lands, but I mean, I might just take it because it's still fixing. How good is Liliana the Last Hope, though? Could be pretty good. I think we gotta take Dark Slick Shores. I don't like it, but I'll take it. Oh, Verdant Catacombs? Okay. Kitty Catacombs and I don't care. M 
May Ebb Gatla wheel, wheels double full not Gatla Gonti. There we go. Wow, this was Love and Crafter. This is a hell of a this is a hell of a ride. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, bosh. Oh, Inverter of Truth, and we already have Thassa's Oracle. Oh man, that's pretty good. Love and crafty. I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. Combo time. I mean, I think I'm going to take it just because the upside of being able to have that is pretty good. Ooh, Fatal Push seems good. So does Noxious Gear Hulk when we have Thassa. I think we want more early stuff, though. Again, I wish we took that far seek, but yeah, Liliana the Veil. Tireless Tracker is actually probably pretty good. I like Tireless Tracker. I like it a lot better than Liliana. I'll be honest with you. I also really wish the box toppers for Ultimate Masters were not only in foil. I love picking up these extended arts for cube. I just do not like picking up the foil versions. The Living the Dream Cube did go away, Sammy, which I'm actually kind of disappointed about because I was having a lot of fun with it. I really, really enjoyed it. Oh, Ugin the Spirit Dragon? And Nicol Bolas? Look at these arts. Oh. God, this is what it's like to just love it. The thing about dreams... Is that they never last. Wow, that's so sad. That's so discouragingly sad. It's either Ugin or just take Gifted Aetherborn because it's a nice easy play. But I don't think we need any double black cards here. I'm just going to take Ugin because it's friggin' Ugin. Terastodon. Rotting Reginald. Look at this Winota. I'm just going to take Reginald. I don't think we need Avenger or the other one. Ooh, Garrick Apex Predator came back. That's fascinating. I'm going to take Disallow here. We don't really have a Thran. Actually, we do have Nissa Voice into Thran into Yawgmoth. I call him Thran all the time. I don't know why. Um, Treetop Village, sure. Oh, bosh. Man, okay, so white is wide open, just to be clear. <sighs> all right, well. We got a deck here. We could also play Thassa's Oracle and Inverter of Truth. The question is, how do we empty our graveyard in order to win the game? No ramp is set. We have Chromatic Lantern. Our two drops are also pretty low. We have, like, nothing to do early. <laughs> yeah, let's empty the graveyard of Scarab God. They all have to be creatures, and we have to pay four mana. I think if we're emptying the graveyards with Scarab God, I think we're probably just winning with Scarab God. I kind of like Immortal Sun here over Nyssa. Oh, we do have a Nugan now, though. I kind of like Roller Rogue with... I like Roller Rogue with um, Thassa. That seems pretty good. Riffling is a two drop. Wow, look at this duplicate art. I don't even know what's happening here. I don't think I care about Yawgmoth that much. I'll take Immortal Sun. I mean, if we if we hit Ugin, we hit Ugin. That's the only Planeswalker we have, right? Eh, I'm not a huge fan of Sword of Fire and Ice here, actually. Why is Liliana's Mastery in here? That's kind of weird. I might just want to find Finality. It does say draw a card on it. Hmm. 
it might just be worth playing Nissa just for the heck of it, just because we do have um, Fallen Shinobi, like we can attack with some tokens. You can kind of see cutting Elder. I would never cut Elder. We already we also have to add a card. We have twenty two cards. I would probably never cut this card. It's very very good. It might just be Fiend Artisan. I like Fiend Artisan actually. Yeah, that's that seems good. I like that. Wish we had a single dual land for crying out loud. Four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. We get six, seven, eight, nine, fourteen. We get to cut one, six, seven, eight, three, four, six, seven. We'll just cut a green. This is seven, seven, seven. Sure. Um, I'll keep this with Chromatic Lantern for sure. All we need is one more land. Let's get this just a little bit. Sleight of Hand. Opening on Sleight of Hand. Okay, that was pretty good. You guys smell something? What's that smell? Up to, nope. Shut <laughs> Oh, guys, there he is. I f okay. I hate you so much. He hates me. Why do I, why do I exist in, in this house? Why do you exist? Why do you exist anywhere is really the question, you know? Windmill slam that guy? You hear that machine gun, Michael? Yeah, we better duck and cover. Duck and cover. Is this your dad? Yeah, man. Thrag Tusk is my dad. Okay, dude. You know. I wish Thrag Tusk was my dad. Who's your daddy, Michael? And what does he do? <sighs> Split him. Can this be a pigless pork rind stream? Maybe. Possible. With this guy, they get to see him, but we don't, right? Is it two piles? One, is, one pile is face up. And your rush pretty good. But I don't know if you need it right now. They just have a Thrag Tusk? Yeah, but if there, I guess if there's two lands, I'm still fine with it. Yeah, oh, that's totally yeah, fine. Yeah, that's a better choice considering what you got on the board. The board. Hey, what you got on the board? Hey, tell me about your little... Mike's dad might be Thrag Tusk. I'd say Mike might be a 3-3 and his dad did leave him behind. Yeah, it's perfect. The narrative is perfect. Wow. Congratulations, Michael, on being baby Thrag Tusk. Did you hear those dogs barking at you because they heard you talking on the phone? Wait, what? They were barking about that? You didn't hear that? No. It's like you don't even listen. <laughs> listen to the child. Is that from The Mandalorian? Yes. Yeah. Wow. That's wild, dude. I'm going to play Scarab God. I'm going to pass. Whenever a non... We need to have a non-land permanent for mana. Okay, so that's just a 2-2 two -two for 2. For 7, you can look at the top 5 cards of your library, put a non-human creature from among them onto the battlefield, and the rest on the bottom of your Librario. Okay, they don't have 7 mana. They're going to cultivate, though. 
I don't care about that. You don't even care? Do you care? I do. If Michael, if a thrag toast sat next to you in a bar, what brand of cigarettes would he smoke? <laughs> Probably um, big slicks. That's not a real. That's not even a real thing. You don't know that. I do. Are you up on the cigarette brands, buddy? I'm a cigarette. I'm a big cig executive. <laughs> well, you need to do more research, okay? Who the fuck are you talking to? Like There's that no, big slick? Nothing smoother than the smooth, than the, smooth pull. The smooth, of the, smooth of the big slicks. Michael, give me that smooth, smooth. What I happens? Want to get unfiltered too. So. What happens if I just play this guy? You probably win. What if I lightning bolt this guy? Yeah, I got one of these fatal pushes too. I think it's right over here. Guys, I just I bought a bunch of cubes that are I bought You're a bunch of cards what's going on with my, the art on that. Upgrade though. my cube. But he's being pushed. Oh, by like a gust of wind. Like this is this is like a ship or something, and he's literally falling oh, off the okay. ship, Michael. No, I understand. You don't know anything about fatally pushed, do you? That's why I asked. There it is. Look. Thank you. I'm gonna put it right next to the right next to the real card. Oh, Brett with the gifted subs. Thank you so much, buddy. I also got Thank Jace the Mind Sculptor here. A borderless Jace the Mind Sculptor. It's beautiful. They're all beautiful. Thank you. This pig is beautiful. Thank you, Michael. Thank Brett, you. I appreciate you, buddy. What just happened? They also ooganed. I feel like there's an office Thank quote you. for every situation if you really dig deep enough. Hmm. So I just got to kill their ugan with my ugan? Bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. No. It's a non-token creature. I, I don't I don't know why I forget that, but I did. And well, it's still a 2-4. It's still fine because it's a 2-4 and I do have Fatal Push in hand. Two Exodus. Thank you so much for the resub. Chains Addiction. Thank you for the resub. Brett, I appreciate you, buddy. Eternal Witness. Okay, none of these cards deal with this Ugin, and we get to negative 10 him next turn. So they can get back their Ugin. Yep. That's fine. I accept. It's very good. That also doesn't do it. Get a free land. Seems good. No, 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 Ugin M. Frost. That's his name. Okay. Do we just ultimate Ugin here? Feels correct, right? Don't do me like that. Okay. Okay, let's put Glenny on board. Tyre on board. Uh, Horny on board. This guy... But not ninja. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seems uh seems good. By name of Jeff. I don't know if you know this, this counter is Ugin. I did know that. I'm gonna play a land for the turn. <laughs> you know, cause YOLO. So now I have three clues and a bunch of friggin' Oh, they just concede. <laughs> They're like, oh, I don't know if I can beat this. Let me think about it. No, no, I can't. Okay. Because like, even if they have a wrath, you I, still have an active Ugin on board. I have two Glenelander Archmage triggers. Even and if you didn't have that. I can progenitor mimic it next turn. No, don't like it. I've seen enough. I'm taking my shit. I'm going home. Michael, get all your shit. <laughs> Pack it up. Put it in a little box. And Ray, if someone asks you if you ultimate Ugin, you say yes. It just popped in there. 
What, Ray? What just popped in there? I decided to reschedule my stupid DMV appointment. Who are you talking to on the phone? My stepdad. Really? Yeah. What did he want? He just wanted to know about the car stuff. Michael, tell him never to call here again. <laughs> well, he didn't call here. He called me, so. Where are you? Who knows? Yeah. Way to get out of answering my question with the correct answer. No, congrats on the engagement. If you're being serious. You can never tell with that one. You really can't. But if so, congrats. You know how old dudes are with knowing about cars. He just wants to know. Hey, Michael, tell me what the, Yeah, but it's a Prius, so old dudes don't know about Priuses. True. You should have just made a bunch of parts. You should have been like the radial... The flim flam wasn't yeah. connected to the gorgish morgue. The, the fucking... Uh, the radial flipping bopper was actually detached from the... The... Schmiggin blorples. And he's like, what? What are you talking about? Oh, what up? If it isn't and you should a like, burrito. Oh, oh you, don't, you just don't know about Priuses. That's all. I get it. Uh, I'm going to counter. Yeah. What up, Nick? Or as chat would know you had Mike. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six. They can add seven. Okay. Joke's on you, Super Fritz. Gabagool is a real word. <laughs> Unbelievable. Also, don't slander my heritage, buddy. What is that? Yeah, see if it fits. I tried to. Look at the, all they're doing is like sleight of hand search for all these cards are terrible. That was that was okay. Now I can acidic slime. How does it feel to be one of the beautiful acidic slimes? I just hope they don't go Land Ugin. I guess that's really my only concern. There's land. Oh, that's not. They can't do that. That's only. Oh, they can, and they are. Yep, that's that's the only thing I was worried about. Cool. Ruh -ruh. <clears throat> Yep, we are pretty far away from these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, hold on. One, two, three. Activate. We are one, two shy. Dang it. We're all tempted to just... One, two, three. Activate. I'm tempted to just hit this. We can't keep up counterspell. I'm also tempted to just play Fallen Shinobi. Just let them deal with it. Play him as a man. I mean, they can't lightning bolt it, so. Yeah. They can negative it. But then they right, but then there's the guys, guys yeah. and then it goes on a four, and I'm like, that's fine. I guess they can do that. It's a really low quality image they got there. Okay. Well, baby, you're five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're dead on board. Always a good feeling. You could duplicate the draggy boy, but then they just bolt it, I guess. Yeah, that doesn't seem great. Then we take three, four, five, six, seven. Well, no, it exiles, right? So it wouldn't give him a baby? No, it's Dracos leaves the battlefield to get the oh, baby. Okay. God, they're always getting babies. I think we're dead. We're not dead. Thank you. What are your thoughts on LGSs who are trying to run sanctioned pre releases this weekend? I think any, any LGS running events in general is pretty fucking stupid. But pretty irresponsible. What do I know? I 
like if you're literally gonna have like <laughs> anywhere between 10 and 30 people in a store that are connected completely independently from one another uh that are going to be touching everyone else's cards during an event that are passing uh -huh. cards to other people like if i play against mike i'm touching his cards reading them picking them up he's touching mine and picking them up i go to the next table we're talking and like there's you know unintentional spit and things and like it's just like it's not safe it's just a really dumb thing to do land doesn't really do enough they can go negative zero this kill all the oh, tokens yeah. mm -hmm. we get one they tap it yep that's gonna be the end hornet queen is kind of like a land I don't know. I really wouldn't have any issue with someone reporting them. Like, they're, it's a public safety issue is the thing. Like, it's not like I'm going to give these guys a fist bump and be like, "Good, hey, man, you keep doing what you got to do. I understand. It's a public safety issue. It's completely... You're putting people at risk. For not much upside other than, Hi, I got to play my card game for a couple hours. Hope I don't die. Uh, so here's <laughs> one person dead after wedding reception in Maine. So apparently, um, there were 53, one of 53 coronavirus patients associated with a wedding reception in Maine has died. So I think one person who went to this wedding had COVID and now one dude's dead and 53 people have gotten it. Like, and it's just unreal. Like... Like, it's not about, it's not about, like, it's not about, I don't, I don't want to talk about it anymore. It makes me sad to talk about it. I played during that playtest and they have plexiglass shields around everyone and you had to hold the cards up so the other person could read them. It was, I imagine it's annoying for sure, but I'd rather do that than, like, here's my card. You touch it with your hand and then I'll touch it with my hand and, like, because then, like, here, let me give it to this person. You know, it just gets worse. It just... It just snowballs out of control, and then literally before you leave, everyone has touched everyone else. It's like where they did that, um... It's annoying, but death might be more annoying. <laughs> oh, Meteor Magic Man, don't be sorry. There's a video to show an example of how quickly, like, germs like that spread. Yeah. And they, like, sprayed some, like, you know, you can't see it, but you can see it under black light. And, like, they put it on, like, one plate, and then, like, by the end of it, like, they just had people doing normal stuff, like, you just being normal people. And by the end of it, it was fucking on everything and everyone. Like, it was everywhere. Yeah. Oh, that was actually... I was like, oh no. I'm not going to be able to play anything. And then I drew a four drop. And they're just going to counter it? Sure. You're also assuming everyone there is keeping a proper distance and wearing their masks properly the entire time. And even if they are, it's still not risk-free. Dude, I get like... I get like visceral... I get like viscerally enraged when I see people with their fucking mask underneath their nose. I'm like, do you not know? Like, how fucking old are you? Do you not know how to wear a mask? Like, it's really not hard. It's definitely not a hard thing to do. But for some people, they just don't actually know how to wear it. Like, no one ever taught them. I don't know. It seems pretty obvious. Air goes in and out of your nose. <laughs> yeah, it really seems obvious. Um... Five mana, huh? I can't really be like, no, I can't be there for you. Totally, you totally can be actually, because it's a it's a deadly pandemic. <laughs> You're gonna be like, well, I got COVID and died, but I, you know, I had to go. No, I definitely think you can. Like, I don't, I don't think this is a situation where you can be guilt tripped or peer pressured into like going to an event. Like, I, fuck that, dude. Like, if you schedule your wedding during a pandemic and you don't reschedule, you're literally putting people at risk for no reason. I'm pretty sure everything that has to do with a wedding, like caterers, you know, cake bakers, whatever, like, they're all going to be able to reschedule and understand. They'd be like, okay, well, yeah, we understand if you want to reschedule. Like, Meanwhile, me personally, when I'm wearing a mask, even if I get close to someone who isn't wearing a mask, I, like, try to hold my breath until I get far away from them. That might be overdoing it, but I don't know what to take here. 
It's actually pretty close because, like, they don't want me to have this clearly. Yeah, I don't think they do either. Two lands, great. Actually, that's friggin' great. All right. Well, here we go. You mean caker, cakers? Yeah, same thing. I have five lands. I mean, I get to play. I could. I can play like three of the five cards in my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can even. I can almost play this. Dang it. I gotta be nine. Right, yeah, just get legally married now and then have an actual party later. Right. Like that's what I mean. Like, if like if these people are like, well, you know what? We can't move it. It's just it, it's it's impossible for us to move it. I was like, all right. Because you can move it. Okay, so not only do we get to keep disallow, but we also get a clue. That's pretty ballin'. They're refusing to reschedule. I would just then I would just get it like I would literally go through my credit card company and do a chargeback. I think we're doing well here. Twenty twenty is the year as every month got cancelled. So this is four. This is one, two, three, four, five. So we can actually go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we need double green. Green, 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 hinge. And now we still get to keep up disallow. I like it. Anyway, I'm just, I, I feel really strongly about stuff like this. So I apologize if I'm getting like aggressive and like, you know, I, I just, I, I think, I think people who risk their risk, uh, not even their lives, right? Like if it's just your life, if COVID was a disease, it's like, well, I could get it. And then like. I'm really, I'm really scared about that, but I want to risk getting it myself to go to this thing because it's important. That's one thing. But the fact that like, it's about giving it to other people. Right. That's where it drives me insane. Like putting other people at risk drives me also insane. Also the fact that in America, trying to be safe about a deadly virus is political is fucking insane to me. How is there two sides to that coin? Well, because you don't want to look like a simp, Michael. A synth? Yeah, you don't want to look like a synth. Mm, Top notes. Vanilla. Vanilla. Cream. Also, we won like our cream. first game, guys. I don't know if you noticed that. Warm it up. Warm it up. I don't want to die. I guess I'm a simp now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I also don't want other people to die. I don't want to be I don't want to be an asymptomatic carrier and give it to someone else. Like that's literally what it comes down to, right? Anyway, let's move on and talk about Magic the Gathering. What do you want to know about it? I don't want to know anything about it. I just want to talk about it. Alright, Mike, Mike, let's take it easy, buddy. Green is an OP color and should be banned. I think green by far has gotten the most improvements over time. Like, green does everything now. Okay, Nick, we get it. You like magic. Calm down. Oh, no. That's real good. Can someone time out Nicholas, please? He's really acting a fool right now. But he's a wizard. You can't... I mean, a, a, a mod. A wizard mod? <laughs> You're a wizard mod, Hattie.
Yeah, the only thing green really doesn't have right now is removal. And even then, they kind of do with fight. Wow, Jace the Mind Sculptor after Liliana Last Hope. Seems good. All right, there is Desert Twister. The old faithful removal spell for six mana. Desert Twister! You guys play a lot of Desert Twister and Commander? Darn me. Yeah. Not currently, but I would in my deck I'm going to build eventually. Yeah, you're going to play Desert Twister in there? Yeah. Mono Green Control. Well, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to save that for later. Oh yeah, I forgot about Beast Within. What? You forgot Beast about Pizza? Beast Within. Pizza Within? Yeah, the Pizza Within. Oh, the Pizza Within is delicious. So is the Pizza Without? Good one. Nailed it. Yeah, I know. Nailed it. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Mm. What'd you eat today? Nothing. That's how it works, though. Yeah, that's true. I can still complain about my hunger. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Only an hour and a half to go. Oh, they both had a fatal push. Look, one fatal push begets another. All you can eat pizza restaurant? What are you, CC's? Gross. What if there was like a CC's but it didn't suck? Like it was good pizza. I wonder how much that buffet would cost. A dollar. I think it might cost a little more than that. Two dollars. Keep going. No. <laughs> well, he said no, so I guess I'll see you later. Okay, see you then. It's really hard to keep up when your opponent has two planeswalkers and you just don't have any. Uh-huh. Yeah, but you got clues. Some places have Pizza so. Hut buffet. <laughs> Who has that? I mean, I guess we're countering this because what are, what's the alternative? Uh, they get a flyer, one, two, and we lose a disallow either way. So, yeah. Round table. Down at the round table. I don't think I ever had round table. It's because you're stupid. Is it because I'm stupid? Yeah. Is it really that good? I don't know. I've never had it. <laughs> then how am I stupid? Are you stupid? Mm -hmm. Well, you see, when you were born, your your intelligence wasn't very high, so that that just contributed to a lower IQ. Uh, that's quitter talk. I've gained my intelligence. Okay, you've gained it. Yeah. I don't see that, that sentence on the, alone on really. The streets. That sentence really alone really proves what yeah, I'm well, talking you about. You wouldn't here. get it. What wouldn't I get? You just wouldn't. Don't worry about it. Well, I didn't say why wouldn't I get. It. I said what wouldn't don't. I get. Don't. So if I say, what wouldn't I get? And he says, you just wouldn't. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, he's really... The, the best part is he's just proven what I said. This whole conversation has been... Uh, a, a just uh, proof. It's because you're just not on my level, so you can't understand that. Are you playing 4D chess? Yeah, 5D. <laughs> Damn it. So many Ds. Michael loves the Ds, so... He tries to get as many in as he can. You know what I mean? Every, anywhere is all you can eat if you have time, money, and self-hate. That You know? 
Technically, you can just keep ordering in a restaurant. That is a thing you can do. Tell me more. What do you want to know specifically? Nah, I don't care. Okay. This game is really fun when they have Liliana and Jace on board. I disagree. I know, me too. Down at the round house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll have eight mana. Do I have a four mana flying creature that I can cast with haste? No. No, I don't. No, I guess I'll add a uh, blue instead of a white here. That seems good. Ugin would be solid. Ugin would be bananas. B A N A N A S. Do you know bananas, Michael? Who do you think you're talking to, buddy? I know all about the bananas. What's your favorite species of banana? The tiny ones. That's not a species. I don't remember the name. <laughs> I don't remember the name. Oh, wow. I thought you knew everything about bananas. Well, not offhand. I got a book that I wrote about them. You wrote a whole book about them, but you yeah. can't remember one name? Yeah, I have memory issues, and I'd appreciate it if you didn't bring it up. What's your book called? Bananas in Pajamas, Part 2, the sequel. The beginning of hope for banana kind. It's a little lengthy, but, you know. <laughs> it's the most incredible story I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, wait till you read the book. I'm not reading that. Well, you're free to do not so. Free to donut? <laughs> yeah. Well, at least we get to fall in Shinobi now. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's interesting, though. Oh, Hornet Queen, Blink Hornet Queen? Is that better? Than two random cards off the top of their deck? Yes. Hornet Queen's better, you think? Yes. With Blink ability? Yeah. Plus, you can always do that other thing next turn. Did they put a card on the bottom? They did. Okay, so... Fried plantains are also delicious. Blink it. Sink it and blink. Blink it and blink it. Blink what it you know about my it. bees? Buddy, I got so many bees. Nice discard outlet, buddy. What are you going to discard this time? Something cool? Something to reanimate? Oh, it was a swamp? Cool. What are you going to do? Kill one bee? Cool. Yeah, you look for that answer. For my bees! Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't kill your Hunter Queen, it's going to be pretty out of hand. Pretty Michael, fast. you know how I'm going to win this game? Bees. bees nuts! No, we don't care about that. I don't care about that. Oh, Brett said it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, I'm so proud, dude. God, I love it. This We would have given, given high fives there if we were in real life. Well, not during these times, but you know, maybe down the line. Kind of like an air high five, right? Like a like an air five. Yeah, you five, but you have to have a machine set up to spray hand sanitizer while you <laughs> high five. <laughs> it's like Spider-Man's web but hand sanitizer. Yeah, everybody knows about the web hand sanitizer. Yeah, obviously. Can I just kill these stupid planeswalkers? Uh, you can't kill them both, but wait. Can you nine? You got four? No, not quite. I got a creepy tar pit, Michael. But you also had 12, so you want to keep some back. No, you're going to make four more? Fuck, kill them all. Kill them all. Just got to figure out what the best course of action is here. They have three cards in hand. I definitely want to fall in Shanoopy. I mean, they couldn't answer your bees before. They're not going to be able to answer your bees later. Answer your bees. Just attack them with one bee. Swap the bee. Just swap the bee, man. Okay? Turn, don't, don't be playing around. I'm tapping this guy. That's I don't need idea. you to be blocking me. Uh, attack Jace, attack Jace, attack Jace, attack Lily, attack, attack Lily, 
Attack Lily. And attack your face. I just want to make Liliana low enough that, like, it doesn't do anything. Okay, they put a charge counter on it? Sure. They're going to do a thing? They're going to make a rat. Sounds good. Okay. Now you got to bounce the right one. Well, obviously, Michael. Jace. 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 Lily, Lily, Lily. Only one at your face? Wow, that's weird. Didn't see that one coming, did you, buddy? No, they probably did. They got to see our hand. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> and I play land this turn? Yeah, that seems good. I believe they set that one up. Probably. Uh, blink this guy. We have five blockers. They have two cards, so. Yeah, I think we're still fine. <laughs> Put a charge counter on my relic. Oh, they go down to one card too because they're stupid Regisaur? Sure. Yeah, it's pretty bad without a trample on this board. Oh, I see. That would be they're out. <sighs> I am dead inside. I guess they hit, they're out. Must be nice. It's kind of unbelievable, but okay. Seems good. <laughs> oh god, I don't even want to know. You gotta um, click that clip, man. Can't leave us hanging. Yep, seems good. It's, it must be nice to have the Mask Worm exactly when you need it as your very last card. Oh, they 100% top deck that. Did we check the math? You know, I didn't. I didn't. I assumed with nine tokens that we're going to die, uh, plus the all the creatures that they still got to attack with. Plus the original. Yeah. So it's probably like over 20 damage. We're close to it. Well, considering it was already 18 from the tokens. Yeah, it's so funny because like, I felt like we were actually recovering. Oh, cool. Hey, look, we're crawling our way back into this game. Oh, wait, you have a mask room. Cool. Thank goodness for that. Looks like a pretty good curve. It's just so frustrating. There's like, there's like maybe f four cards that would have actually killed us in that spot rather than just like... Sure. Seems good. <laughs> well, I can't take anything, right? No. It's just frustrating. We get Fallen Shinobi. We hit two whiffs. They have Massacre card. As, Massacre was the last card in their hand. We have a bunch of Hornet Queens that were, like, blinking. Oh boy. That's going to be juicy at some point. Is it next turn? No. Dang it. Dang it. Biscuits. Well, I feel good about this game. With them having no blue sources and triple black here. They are going to play Liliana and kill this Fiend Artisan, I bet. Well, Fatal Push works too. Oh, good. Oh, goody. No, my hand is very good blue-black creatures. And also a duplicate. 
Oh, how's it gonna be? Fatal push. Interesting. Yeah, we'll take pile two. Yeah, we can't kill the rat right now anyway. All right, well, I mean, if they attack with this, we're definitely blocking. Because then they make a rat, and then we bounce the rat and fall on Shinoopy. Really? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. If they just make a rat here, this game's over. Yep, that's probably the end. So they're tapped out. We get to bounce their token pack rat. And we get to blink and fall in Shinobi and return our Riffling Cloudscape? Sure. This time we're gonna wait to play a land in case we hit a land. Your favorite and mine. Mm. Well, it's pretty good, actually. <laughs> uh, I think we're just passing here. I don't think we need to play Riffling Cloudscape. Thank or suspend you. it. Tavo, it is Wednesday, my dude. He's right. This is their, uh, I have to block maneuver. That relic belongs in a museum. So do you! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we'll have eight mana. So I can go tracker, land, wingy boy? I have no spells in hand, so I don't care if that guy comes back down. And I would... Okay. <laughs> I'd rather just get another hit with this, so. We did it! Yay! <sighs> Alright. One win away from a 2-0. Frank on one screen and a side class on the other. Who wants to guess which is more entertaining? Me. It's me! Oh man, Immortal Sun would be great against these these jokers. Oh, Michael, combo. Just got a twenty piece of the spicy nugs from McDonald's. Wait, McDonald's yeah. has spicy nugs now? Yeah. You guys I have to go. Sorry. I have to go get spicy nugs. Not really, but how are the spicy nugs? Curious. Curious. They're like the same thing but spicy because if they are, that yeah, sounds just amazing. Make nuggets. They just added like cayenne to it or some shit. Yeah, they add cayenne to it. They're like, put a little pull of cayenne pepper on it. That's just, that's, a, that's how we make it. Look, they just keep they keep whiffing with this and it feels so good. I like them. The heat is subtle, and the new sauce is good. New sauce too. Oh man! <coughs> oh man, Michael B. <laughs> new sauce with some cayenne pepper nuggets. I mean, that might be literally all that they added to it. It's definitely not. <laughs> no Why? one, because no company on earth just means like, let's get the regular nuggets and put a little cayenne pepper on them, because that doesn't. That's not an enjoyable flavor. What? 
kind of just heat. Just has a little heat. Just stop it. Chicken nuggets are like my family. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Christ. That's gold. It's gold, Jerry. Gold. I don't really have a thing to do here, so I think we're just going to take a million from Rotting Regisaur. Do you not know the origin story of Flaming Hot Cheetos? I can't tell if you're just making a joke or if you're actually asking me. Mike B, you want spicy nugs? I appreciate the offer, Kerwit, but I'm still fasting for another hour and a half, so... Well, he can just ha he can order it for to be here. Mm, you're right. Mm, you're right. Mm. Mm. Also, Katie loves McDonald's and she'll eat it every day, so. She will literally eat it every day. I don't really want that as my main meal, but I would like to inspect them. For I want to inspect them. You got the fucking nug inspector over here. <laughs> I was fasting too when I was younger. Now I'm kind of slowing. Me too, buddy. Me too. I can make them arrive in an hour and a half. How could I say no to that? He's kind of like a magician. He's a fast food magician. He really is. He really is. Sometimes Michael talks really slow. It's because of his concussion that he got years ago. And the... Mitch, shut up. Why don't you shut up, Michael? I told him to tell people about that. Why did you tell me to tell them that? It's a thing. You make fun of me? Huh? <laughs> Michael, do you think I would make fun of you? Kurt says, you want some? You want anything? I think I'm good. I'm going to just bounce this guy, I guess. I'd also be curious about their new sauce. Give me that new sauce, whatever it is. It's just literally like a spicy sauce. But it's still worth trying, I guess. Nuggomancer Kerwood on the case. He resurrects the nugs and has them delivered to your door. He says, I'm going to send you something. He's getting you something. Oh, my God. It's going to be Kirk, a mystery. Kirk, I love you, buddy. Maybe it's going to be one slice of cheese for you Can to eat you at midnight. Can you guess who? It's a Nug Mystery. Don't counter this. Really? Wow. That's absolutely just incredible. Okie dokie. You got something else? What else you got? What else do you... Oh, wow. That's... That's a thing, all right. Jesus. Well, they go to no cards. But boy, we gotta beat two of these bitches. And that's pretty sad. Yeah, if they ever move, we're dead, so... No, we just need a blue source so we can tap this guy down, which or make it unblockable rather. Yep, this is pretty bad. They have no cards in hand, so as long as we get a blue source here, that's just terrible. There's something one other creature you control. Okie dokie. Well. We have to chump block here. Yep. And then we go to one. So this might be our only out. Double block with the tokens. Tap both of them to tap this. Yeah. Don't, just don't play anything else. Okay, they did not. Being at one is pretty rough here. Always a pleasure, Magic. Cool. Must be nice. Yeah, those felt really well-earned victories. Had to have exactly negate. Had to not draw a second blue source. <sighs> Good times. Thank Dang it, Bobby. Unstable Bear. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Demented Wombat. Thank you for the bits. I uh, missed it, but... I appreciate it. Kerwin with the gifted sub to, to Hat Mike. Hat Mike who cannot afford his own his own things. Nick, how's TCG player treating you? Wow. 
It's okay. I can afford it, buddy. I know. I believe in you. Kurt says, Katie eats two cheeseburgers and a fry? Yeah. No, she gets one filet fish and one cheeseburger. Is that her new, new go-to? That was barely English, Michael. I said it was her new go-to. Her new Goku. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of gluten. It is a lot of gluten, and she fucking knows it. But yet. Can you guess who his name's Michael B? He's always swinging up in the tree. it down no michael i can do whatever i want you're not my fucking dad okay <laughs> you stupid idiot oh. wow uh, wow <coughs> michael i'm dying okay no stop it no get some help stop it get some help you're gonna take out my creeping tarpet you piece of XL3? Oh, God. Let me draw Thassa. That'd be great. <coughs> Went down the wrong pipe, guys. I'm sorry. Eh, that's actually pretty good. And then next time we get a Civic Slime if they don't kill another land? I doubt they Who's the gentleman next to you? Uh, I wouldn't consider myself a gentleman at all. You mean who's this piece of shit next to me? <laughs> You pizza shit. <clears throat> My name is Mike. Ha! Got him! Did. Oh, that was good. That's a solid creature. <laughs> Okie dokie. Acidic slime. It's the sweet prince, Michael B. Wow. Wait, the Meechel's clip is gone? There's no justice in the world. Michael, there's justice. You just have to... You just have to dream it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, boy. Block and block. Indestructible, huh? Well, see you later. Okay, duplicate. What are you getting? Doop, 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 doop. I mean, I think it's the hazard. I do too. I don't feel good about it though. I mean, they got now. They got now. What do you? I mean, I think it's actually Thunder Mile Kite. Because really, yes, because we can't do anything about it. But I mean, that's duplicate's like a literal only answer to that other card though. Really? Or Ugin, I guess. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. That's crazy, dude. <coughs> okay. I can't even attack with anything here, so I'm just going to pass. <coughs> I'm highlighting my message. You sure are, buddy. You sure are. Mike's dad. That better be... Oh, okay. Well, that's good. So we're dead. Oh my god, the Mike's dad clip is gone? Where'd the clips go? Yep. Concede. Alright. Game won't even let you concede. 
Doing doing great here. Doing great. Um, Down a match, we got to play against Mono Red. Uh, fun times. It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. <clears throat> Let's bring in all his dust. Take out Woody. Take out Progenitor Mimic. Don't care about you. Hmm. You block. Yeah, rub that belly. Oh well. Just give it a good scratch. A good scratch. Like a like behind a dog's ear. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Guru Mountain, thanks so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, Mike Novak. What up, my dude? Oh man, what a time to be alive. This hand seems terrible. Yeah, it's a little slow boy. Yeah, I'm going to that's how you sound. That's how you sound, you stupid Mitch. Michael, I will murder your entire family. You do it, bet. Maybe I don't want to now. Yeah, yeah. Meh, 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 say meh. What are you, a fucking gangster? Getting ready to do some poker. Happy to see Modern Cube. Um, Modern Cube is like one of my least favorite cubes, but it's still a cube, so it's like, I can't complain. I could, but who's gonna listen, you know? Um I like doing the poker as well. Sure. Name my name my Verdant Catacomb because you think you're gonna be super clever. <clears throat> Just type V, hit the V and it'll take you all the way to the Verdant Catacomb. <laughs> you don't have to you don't have to like scroll all the way through. Just spell it out. Spell out, spell out Verdant Catacomb. Maybe he's playing the long game. Chase the Mind get... Sculptor. Interesting. Buddy. You're a damn fool. You done messed up A.A. Ron. Look what I got. I got a 1-3. <clears throat> Did we get next leveled? No, I think we next leveled them. What is this? Wait, wait, look at the top X cards of your library. Uh, put, put the one on top and the rest on the bottom. I like disallow on top. Put a card on top? Put a card on top of your library? Click a card upon it. Like, this is a question. So they want like... <laughs> it's like, I can't say yes or no to it. You're just going to make me do it. So, uh, <clears throat> you know. Wow, they just killed my Thassa's Oracle? I kind of want to keep Disallow. I'll take two for Disallow. I played Oracle and I made sure it wasn't Scry. Like, a lot of times they're just like, Scry. And I'm like, okay. Scry. I really hope I can draw another land next turn for this Acidic Slime. Are they just not going to play anything? No, you know what they say. Chipley. Cell four, cell five. So I have blue and blue, double blue here. I have to crack this for a black if I want a fatal push and keep up disallow, but also that means I have to draw green rather than any other land, which is kind of obnoxious. Did you take two? I mean, it's easier said than done against the red deck when every point matters. So yeah, but you're still at an okay level. An okay level. <laughs> You're at an okay level. Well, at least they're not going <clears> to <throat> windmill slam a creature or a planeswalker here, so. Oh boy. That's a good dude, but we don't have anything to take advantage of it. Okay, but they're not. It did sound easy when Mike said it. Yeah, I know. It's, just, it's weird, right? Um, just got to counter this. Give me a land. Fifth land. That's, you know what? That's actually not bad. Yeah, if we can ever cast the hinge, we're probably doing good. Hundred percent taking this pile. Thousand percent taking the pile with two lands in it. You try to get you. Yeah, I'm like. If you're putting this in one pile by itself, you're giving me two lands. And I want them both. Yep, there's a Thunder Maw. We get the Fallen Shinobi. 
That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I could have played land, played henge, but that that's not really. No, I think ninja play gets more far. I mean, I guess it depends on the top of the deck. It really does. <sighs> Come on, what time? Eh, that's two dudes. <clears throat> I don't actually know if I want to play this guy. Does it say exiled? What happens to it? Until the end of turn, you play those cards. Yeah, they just get exiled. Because, like, if they manage to just, like, lightning bolt this guy, they can bring it back and kill us. It seems pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. Dying seems bad. <coughs> I agree. <coughs> I agree. Food arrives 615 to 645. All right. Let's we'll see if they can just kill us with. I'm sure they can just kill us. I'm I'm sure we're dead here. So, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time. See, I'm just like. It doesn't outright kill us, but it basically kills us. Well, we have to deal with both of these. Oh, actually, that's not terrible. Bounce this. How much is Henge going for now? One, two, three, four, five, six. What's the deal on your latest Henge? Huh? I think we have just enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Henge costs four. <coughs> one. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. Uh, you want to leave up green, right? Oh, no, you're, you're doing the other No, one. I definitely okay. don't want to leave up green. Although, awkward. Uh, Bouncing in Titan is super awkward. But. Right, we take three instead of 40, though, so, yeah. you know. Alright, give me some hot jobbies. Finale of Promise. These are both terrible. You can cast with one instant sorcery card from your graveyard. Each of the criminals has X or less. Uh, okay. Cool. <laughs> nice hits. I mean, if they attack, we block. <clears throat> Can't they just kill us? How? Well, now no. they can, but... Yeah. Yep, always a pleasure, Modern Cube. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.